worship him, give him the glory for great things he has done today. Give him the glory for great things he has done in his church. Give him the glory for great things he has done in your family. Begin to worship him. Bless him. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship his soul.
This morning, in the presence of the living God, shall we pray in the name of His Son, Gracious One, Jesus that died for our sin on the cross of Calvary. Father, we bow our head before you in honor and adoration to your holy name. For there is no like unto you. Your grace has brought us to your presence this morning. Your love that you have shown up unto us. Right from the day we, are, we, are, we came to this earth. You know us by our name. As we gather this morning, we pray that you hear our prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we gather this morning, we pray that you accompany, oh God, this, mess, this seat of glory Amen. with your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. That angels from heaven, oh God, be part of this service Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. That this house, oh God, be the house of prayer, the house of the living God, the house of the power of your son, Jesus Christ, Amen. that you have given to us as a ransom of your love for us. Father, we ask this morning that you speak to us. Amen. We ask this morning that we, oh God, hear you loud and clear. Amen. We ask that everything that will be done under your presence this morning be architected by you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be coordinated by you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be executed by you and approved by you in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you visit us today individually. Amen. Speak to us today individually. That this service will bring glory and honor to your name. Amen. Father, look at us today as we have come to your presence. Amen. Lord, oh God, we decide to make an appointment with you today. The living God. The one that created heaven and earth. Alpha and Omega. We are not in the wrong place. But, oh Lord, we have come to Mount Zion. We have come to the city of the living God. We have come to the garden of thousands, of thousands, of joyful angels assembly. That's why we pray that we will find peace in you. We will find joy in you. We will find hope in you. We will find happiness in you. In this garden of angels. In this garden of the faithful. In this garden of of the name of your son Jesus Christ. Amen. Visit us. Amen. Whatever have been our problem, our needs, our situation, Father, meet us today. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Amend the broken heart. Amen. Give hope to the oppressed. Amen. Uplift the poor. Amen. And give us hope in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This is the confidence we have in you. That this meeting we turn destiny around. Amen. That this meeting we prove your love for us again. Amen. Do what only you can do in this garden. Amen. We ask even the ceremony of today be ordained by you. Coordinated by you. Amen. And as many that will be listening today, wherever they are, reach out to every one of us. Amen. Do what only you will do. Amen. We ask, if there be any plans of the enemy against this garden, arise and scatter it. Amen. Take charge, O Lord. Amen. We cover this place with the blood of Jesus. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And amen. amen. Shall we be seated as a choir minister?
stand and tell somebody, I'm a child of God. I am a child of God. I have nothing to fear because I am a child of God. Turn around and talk to somebody, I am a child of God. Amen. Amen. God has beautiful things to do in your life today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll be talking this morning about what I tag living a winning life. Living a winning life. A lot of people are not living winning life. Satan is here and there to test. But what is important in our life is to win. You will continue to win in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have a friend. His name is Godwin. Amen? Amen. You must always win. What did I say? You will always win in the name of Jesus. Satan have no other job to do than to test. Satan have no other, other things to do than to spoil. But the word of God says, Jesus has come so that we might do what? Have life and have it more. About abundantly, praise the Lord. Father, we just want to say thank you this morning. Because we believe we are winning. Because of your support, that is why we are winning. Satan is always out there to test. Satan is all, always there to punish. Satan is always, almost there to torment. But simply because of who you are in our life, we will always continue to win. Amen. And we are winning in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray this morning as your word will be coming out, anybody is still under the torment of Satan right now, you are winning in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will continue to win in the name of Jesus. Thank you because we believe this. For we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Once again, I give greet to everyone this morning. And I congratulate you for seeing today. Amen. Amen. A lot want to see today, but they were unable to see. It's because we are a child of God, we are winning. That's why we are today. Hallelujah. When you see some, uh, some people smiling, you will think that all are perfectly all right with them. But if it is possible to know them deeper, you, will, you might tell uh, things are not all right with them. But today, I believe all things are all right with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even many smokers that I've interviewed in the past, uh, they, they told me because of the depression in their life, that's why they are smoking. But go back and ask them if they will, if they will be uh, true to themselves. They will tell you that it is still the same. Amen. Amen. There is no, no mercy that you can take for you to be a winning person unless you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. I will read it from the book of uh, Second King. And I want you to open the Bible with me. And I will read it from Second King chapter uh, 7. And I will read from verse 3 to 9. Now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate. And they said to one another, Why are we sitting here until we die? If we say, We will enter the city, the famine is there. 
And if we shall die, uh, and if, if we say we want to enter the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here where we are, we will also die. Now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syria. If they keep us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall only die. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syria. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. Amen. Amen. Verse 6. For the Lord has caused the army of Syria to hear the noise of chariot of the noise of the horses, the noise of a great army. So they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel has hired against us. The king of Hittite and the king of Egyptian to attack us. I said, Therefore, they arose and fled at the twilight and left the camp intact. And left the camp intact, their tents, their horses, and their donkeys. And they fled their life. And verse 8. And when this leper came to the outskirts of the camp, they went into the tent and ate and drank and carried from its, its sliver and gold and clothing and went and hide them. And they came back and entered another tent and carried some from there also, and went and hid it. Verse 9. Then they said to one another, We are not doing right. This day is a day of good news. And if we remain silent, if we wait until morning light, some punishment will come upon us. Now, therefore, come, let us tell the king's household. So they went and called the gatekeepers of the city and told them, saying, we went to the Syrian camp. And surprisingly, no one was there, not a human sound, only horses, and donkeys and the tent enter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are a lot of times that uh, an adage say a coward is killed before he is even shot at. Sometimes we are baffled or afraid what we never come to us. That's why we don't live a winning life. Living a winning life is the purpose of our Lord Jesus Christ going to the cross for us. He wants us to continue to live a winning life. Don't tempt and say, thief cometh, but to steal and to destroy. That is its, its own work. That's thief, Satan. But Jesus Christ has come so that we continue to live a winning life. Is it true that everyone on this planet is living a winning life? No. No. Some people are not living winning life because they refuse to accept Jesus Christ in their life. And there are other things, even children of God, that are not living winning life. There are problems also. 
that I will just open up and let you know so that you will continue to live a winning life every day. Praise the mighty Jesus. When we send our children to the school, what we are expecting in their life is that when they grow up, so that we will have joy over them. And I pray for you, by the grace of God, you will have joy over all your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. That is the purpose of our having children. That is that is that, 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 that we will have joy over them. A time is coming when what you are doing today, you will not be able to do it again. You will not have the strength to do it. So that the one God gave you, we take over from there. That is a winning life. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. There's a lot of things that I will talk about because of, we are having about two services today. Amen? Amen? So I will be very brief, but I will go straight to the point and you will see what God wants you to do so that you will continue to live a winning life. Amen? Amen. A lot of people are just going to church. But they are not they are not having winning life because they are just going to the church as as just a nominal person. Just to show up and so many things. And that's why they are not having winning life. But the purpose of our coming to church is to continually have a winning life. And I pray. From now onward, you will continue to have a winning life in the name of Jesus. Amen. These people that we have just read about, they are lepers. Lepers don't live in the city. Lepers live in the bush. And there was a far, big famine, just like the one we are seeing now. It's everywhere. I used to tell people that some people are crying back where we come from. There, there is farming, everything is costly. Is it costly here too? Yes. yes. The same thing. I just, I just told, told them that all is the same. But still, God will continue to feed his own children. Because we are not a slave. We are a child of God. Amen? Amen. When things are they are skyrocketed and we have money to, to buy it. Are we not winning? Amen? Amen. If, there's the, if everything is cheap and no money to buy it, are you winning? No. no. So we will continue to have winning life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I have uh, observed it and I know it. Things cannot go down again if it continues to go up. But when things are going up and you are going up as well, yes, are you in trouble? No. 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 The first car I bought in my life, yeah. I bought it in 1977. Volkswagen. I buy, I buy it 521 Naira. 521 Naira. If you have 500, I'm talking Nigeria. If you have 521 Naira in Nigeria now to cook a soup. Will you be able to cook soup with 521? No. Amen. Amen. I bought my first car. I still have the picture. I will show you, Kinsky. My first car. WP uh, 4170. That's the number. 521. Brand new. Amen. I think go I, I think go I think going up or, or going down. Oh it will continue to go. You say I'm crossing? I'm not crossing. I'm telling you the truth. The first ticket I will buy to come to this country, I bought it three hundred. Go and fro from Muritalam Mohammed Airport to Washington DC. 300. Not dollar, naira. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think now it's, it's more than 3,000 naira now. Huh? Huh? 
Amen. Amen. Don't pray that things should come down. Just pray that God should bless you. Amen. 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 When God is blessing you, the time I bought my own car, my, my junior brother just come out from the University of Ibadan. I led him. We went to Ogolu Motors in the. I'm sorry, not everybody's from Ibadan. In the in the uh, UI area, six thousand naira. That's why we what we buy. Uh, Five oh four with air condition. Six thousand. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, things are not going down. It's going up, and you will continue to go up as well. Amen. I said you will continue to go up as well. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you again. I used to give my wife 50 kobo to cook soup. When we first married, 50 kobo. And we buy the best, the best meat at the Gege Olopa. Praise the Lord. 50 kobo. Amen. 50 naira now cannot even buy it again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a child of God. You have nothing to fear. Because you are a child of God. Now I want to tell you, stop complaining. Get up. And, and, and uh, look for solution. If anything is happening to you, that's, that's the first thing you need to do. Look for what? Solution. Solution. Amen. Amen. Let's look at the book of uh, John chapter 5 verse 7. Amen. Amen. There is a man there. I want somebody to read for me. Look 5. Okay, look yeah, John 5 7. It's a sick man. I don't know what you are going through today. What, whatever you are going through today. I want you to know that God has solution. There is nothing that has no solution if you are ready to stop complaining. John 5, 7. Yes. I can, I can, sir. The sick man said, mm -hmm. for I have no one to put me mm. into the pool mm. when the water bubbles mm. up. Someone else also get in there mm. ahead of me. Mm. Verse 8. Jesus mm. told him, mm -hmm. Stand up, mm -hmm. pick up your mat, and walk. Stand up. Just like the first one, the, the first scenario. Pick up your mat and start walking. Yes? Yeah. Instantly. Instantly. The man was healed. The man was healed. He rolled up his sleeping mat. He rolled up his sleeping mat. And began to walk. There was a man that has been a sick bed for a donkey year. He keep complaining there. Jesus still come and he's still complaining. Some people will be in the Lord and they will still complain. When you are in the Lord, you are a winner. Amen. 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 I'm not saying when you are in the church. Some people are in the church, they are not in the Lord. When you are in the Lord, you are always a, a winner. Jesus come and this man will still continue to, to, to complain. He said, come and take off your bed and walk. All we need to do right now that things are moving up day in, day out, is to stop complaining. Get up! Amen? Amen. Some will be crying there, will be shouting there. Things are difficult. Things are high. When it's here, high. If you are also high, what's your problem? Things are high and you are here high as well. Amen. Let me tell you, if they reduce uh, a brand new car to $1,000, some people will not buy. Yes. They will not buy. But 
Don't matter what, whatever they, 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 they lift it to. Because you are a child of God. You will continue to live a winning life in your life. The people are first of all right about. They are lepers. Lepers, how many people have seen lepers before? They have no hand to hold something. They cannot walk. They are secluded in the, in the forest, in the bush. Now, one of them just got up one day. He said, we are not going to sit down here and say that things will work. Something you will want it to work. If you don't make it work, it's not going to work. Amen? Amen. If you don't make it work, it's not going to do what? God doesn't force anybody. Whatever he wants to do. That if you keep sit down there and keep complaining and keep shouting and crying, why we just die there? Amen? Amen. When things are tough, you take it tough as well. Amen? Amen. When they said they want to, they went by the just came to the throne and said it's going to raise uh, a minimum wage to $15. I was doubting it. Because that time was the best place is $8, $9. You remember? And he, and he did it. Amen? Amen? We first enjoy it. Now people are still complaining now. Amen? Amen. You remember? The least work then is, is, is $8, $9. $7. $7. Wherever, wherever you see, wherever you see that they are paying $9, you will rush down there. If anybody says it's paying $5, $9 now, will anybody go there? Nobody will go there. What do I want to do with this? Amen. Amen. Stop complaining. Get up. Amen. When you get up, that's when God will help you. God, they say heaven helps those who help themselves. Any establishment that's, that say you want to pay nine dollars today is not going to get anybody to do the work. He will do the work by himself or herself. Amen. 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 When people say things are going up, don't be shivering. There are some people who say, what? No, 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 no. You, you have somebody. That's our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 As those two sold cars are putting different, different gadgets in it, they are raising the money up, everything. And it's for you. It's not for any other person. Amen. Amen. Stop complaining. These people now, one of them now said, let's get up. If we go into the city, they will kill us. If we sit down here, they will not kill us, but uh, hunger will kill us. So, don't let us sit down and hunger kill us. Amen? Amen. As things are diffi more difficult, things, the, the people are, they are cracking their, their brain. Yesterday, myself and my wife, we saw something that I was surprised. They already make a, a paper for for making my money. <laughs> they already make because if things are not tough, they will not think about that. I just saw it yesterday, you might have seen it for a long time ago. They make a party to make my money. People will start thinking. Amen? People will start thinking when things are tough. That's why I know. If you say uh, things should not talk, that means you don't want people to think again. People are thinking, thinking. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Stop complaining. Start thinking. Start doing what? Thinking. Thinking and making impact. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No church is, 
Let me don't tell me say no church. Very many church are not the way they were before today. In terms of number. Since COVID. Anybody say that that say that uh, it's not affecting them, they are lying. But if you quit, <laughs> you will not be successful. We didn't quit. There was a time here, it's only about three of us here during the COVID. But by the grace of God, COVID never stopped us. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If COVID has stopped us then, probably we will not rise up again. Amen. Amen. Don't quit. What did I say? Don't quit. Don't quit. A quitter will not win. And a winner will not quit. These people now got to the place that they were bad full of. Oh, don't let us go there. They will kill us. So people say, come and let us go. Move. When they got there, that nobody there. A lot of things that you are afraid of will kill you if you don't care. If you don't take, 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 take caution. Sometimes I will say, how are we going to pay when we want to move here from school? We are formerly using school. When we want to move down here, when they tell, tell us the price, I will say, how are we going to pay? God has been doing it. And we are moving out very soon. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. To a bigger, higher place. Amen. 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 Don't quit. Move on. When you move on, God will support you. Amen. Wait for God. Do not open the door by yourself. Let God open the door for you. Because the door of God open, nobody can close it. If you open for yourself, you will, you will run back. But when God opened the door for you, God opened the door for the lepers. And when they got there, they were saying, ah, where are these people? And they made a lot of food. Gold, silver, everything. They met it there. They were surprised. And they don't want to enter before. It, for adventure, they have gone back. Maybe another people will go and take those food. They ate to the extent that say, let's go to the king and tell the king that there are food here. Let everybody come. Amen. Amen. When you enter, it's just like when you want to enter water that is cold. In those days, we used to go to the farm and the people used to have because the water is cold. Just enter. In the next five minutes, you will not know that it's cold anymore. Is that not true? Everything will just be, be okay with you. Don't quit. What did I say? Don't quit. Move on. What you think will kill you, if you move on with Jesus Christ, you, you will not experience, uh, you will not experience uh, Discouragement. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let God open a door for you. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. Let somebody quickly read for me. The door God opened, nobody can close it. Anybody? Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. In everything by what? By prayer. Uh huh. And supplication with thanksgiving. Yes. Let your request be made known unto God. Let your request only be made to who? Known unto God. Known unto God. And the peace of God. And the peace of God. Which passes all understanding. Which passes all of understanding. Shall keep your heart and mind through Christ. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Another thing I want to tell you, it is dangerous to stay too long on a particular place. Move on. Amen. So we just stay in a particular day and begin to complain. 
be going to curse themselves. They will be cursing themselves. Oh, how will I do it? What will I do? Hey, we have this and that. The next thing you need to do is to get direction. Direction for whom? From God and move on. Immediately you get direction from God. Well, God will never direct you to, to a place that is not going to be palatable for you. God will direct you to a place that when you get there, you will be thanking God. Make a move. Amen? Amen. Do what? Make a move. When it's God, it's, it got to be okay. It got to be okay. Amen? Amen? There are a lot of times, like these uh, lepers, that they want to change situation. Don't change this situation. Move on. Let, let God direct you. When God directs you, and he tell you what to do, I am telling you, you will laugh at less. There are a lot of us that if they will have gone to school, we will, will be saying, ah, we don't know how it's going to be. Move on and, and, and see what God is going to do. How will I pay the bill? How will I do this? You might even get there now and then you, you will have uh, the government uh, help. Or somebody will just help you. If you don't move, nothing will ever move for you. Amen? Amen? Some of us that has got houses in this country is when we move. When I was looking for my own house, I looked for it so long to the extent that I'm tired. I said, I'm not buying any house any longer. Then Chola and the mommy, they said, no, we are buying it. They begin to go from one place to one place to one place to one place. Even though that, that man do us. Amen. We are in the house today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are times you will be tired. You will say, I, I, I'm not going to move forward again. Amen? No good thing wants you to do it. Anything that is good. Yeah, yeah. Anything that you are doing that there is no obstruction, be careful about it. But obstruction will allow you to think, what am I not doing right? How about that? I go, I'm going right now. Why, why don't I go left and see how it's going to be? And when you go, you will see the hand of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Living a winning life is a must for you as a child of God. Because you are no longer a slave. But who? A child of God. People used to say it is a place that it had. They used to meet uh, men. But today we, we meet women there too. Of course. Huh? <laughs> a place that, how do you say it uh, in English? <laughs> Amen. 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 Even women today, you mean that the women are working in corrections today? Is that place not uh, difficult? Amen. Anything you want to do, you need determination. What do I say you need? Nothing good we ever want you to do. No. A lot of people are, 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 are going back from school. They say, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm old enough to drop out. Don't drop out. Move forward. When you move forward, you will see the result of moving forward. Praise, praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Keep yourself busy for the Lord. Busy people have no time for gossiping. Busy people, they have no what? No time for when you are busy for the Lord and you are remembering that you, are, your destination is a winning state, you have no time for gossiping. Amen? Amen. Busy people, they will move on and they will see the hand of God in their life. Keep yourself busy every day. 
Understand this. You must have a foundation. And you can't build your foundation without help. We need help within ourselves. Most especially in this country, if you come to this country and you have no help, you will lose. Amen? Amen? No matter what you are, where you are coming from, this is a different place entirely. This is a different place. Some people will say, I mean, I, I, one, one person came to our house last time. He said, Ah, do you know me? I'm manager in my. Uh, uh, if you are manager, you better go back there. <laughs> Whatever you are, where you are coming from, you will come down just like Zacchaeus. Before Zacchaeus was able to see Jesus, what did he do? He come down. Formerly, he went upstairs. I want to, yeah, I must see Jesus today. He went there. Jesus, not, Jesus is just not, he does not bother. He said, where are you? Calm down with your pride. Calm down. That's not where you are going to see me. How many people among these people can climb the, the, the tree you climb? Not everybody, but I'm for everybody. Calm down. Amen? Amen. Calm down from your pride. Anybody who is proud in this country, they will never make it. Somebody came to me from Nigeria. He went to uh, uh, MVA, motor vehicle, about four times. He didn't pass. He's a manager in, 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 in his own in Ibadan. Then he was crying. He said, Prashek, why are you crying? He said, ah. I have, you know, at least you know me very well. I use, I have my own car. I did, I that. That little girl just failed me. This is the fourth time. Fourth time. I said, you have to get this thing. If you don't get it, you are, you are not going to do anything in this country. That's the system. You have to come to the system. The system will not come to you in this country. That's the system. They don't, they don't care if you are old. Where are we come from? It's, ah, ah, ah. You say, it's an old man. What concern them? If you are old, you are old in your house. If you are old in your house, if you are old, don't even come to this country at all. And that is what is spoiling where we come from. They will say, ah, it's a, it's a sheep. It's a old. It's, what concern them here? If you come and people are cleaning up, they will not say because you are old. Come and be in the front. If you are expecting that, you are not in America yet. Amen. You will stay where you are. Amen. Winning life. For you to continue to live a winning life, you have to have Jesus Christ first. Then be ready to do what the lazy people will not be, will be able to do. Things are tough where we come from now. But people are still going through it. Because they will blend with it. Amen? Amen? Amen. 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 Today, we all, we hear all, 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 all receive more messages than ever before now. But whenever they call and they say things are tough, I, mean, I will say it's tough here too. <laughs> Is it not tough here too? What, what do you want to talk about that I cannot talk about here? Talk of how much you fill your car with. I will tell you how much I fill it with in about a year ago. Talk about how we bought, how much we bought Gary and the Luba. I will tell you how much we buy it. The same thing now. You need to move on so that you continue to win. And you will continue to win in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't move back. Don't go back. Lord's wife. That, we don't even know the name. They only say Lord's wife. What did, this, what did she do? She looked back. And she become. You will not become still of salt in the name of Jesus. Living a winning life is a must for children of God. But you got to move on. And God of heaven, we lift you up in the name of Jesus. Amen.
No matter what is going on there, it's not your problem. Just move on. Focus your attention onto Jesus Christ. The disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, they, they saw Jesus Christ walking on the sea. Is it easy? It's not easy. But know that it's Jesus. They want to be sure that it's Jesus. They say, is that you? They say, it's me. Okay. Peter said, if it's you, I am coming. And what did he do? He began to go and he began to say, okay. Until he began to look at himself. Don't look at yourself. Look at Jesus. When you begin to look at Jesus, you will always be winning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This morning, my brothers, my sister, things are tough, and you need to be tough as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. Prayer, walking, and looking forward. Amen? Amen? God will not bless a lazy person. It will only bless your work, your hand of work. Amen? Amen. You know, those who are already retired and are taking uh, retired money, they have work. Is that not true? Yes. But you do not want to work, you want to enjoy. For where? No, it's not possible. Praise the Lord. Amen. This morning, my sister, my brother, you are going to call God. You are going to pray right now. I want to continue to live a winning life. Everything that will allow me to look back so that I will not continue to win, remove it totally from me. From today henceforth. I am a child of God. I am no my slave. Let's bow down and pray. Lord, lift me up. And from now on, onward, let me continually live a winning life. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. May God bless you as you are praying. Living a winning life. Living a winning life. Begin to win. Reposition yourself for winning. Reposition yourself for winning. And you will continue to win. In the name of Jesus. come to us, O God. We thank you because you love us, that's why you speak to us. You say, as the Father admonished the children, so I admonish you. He said, be zealous, my son, and repent. In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20, he said, behold, you stand by the door and knock. If any man will hear and open the door, you will come in. Lord, we ask coming to our life today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Give us wisdom to understand and to redeem the time. That the children of Issachar, they understand the time, the season. Father, oh God, that we will act according to your, your, the knowledge from you. We will be wise. We will be able to win in every situation, in any condition, because of your grace that you are giving to us as your children. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Let this message not go out. But we will go back home with the, as the a wise people and apply it. And it will work for us in the name of Jesus. That we will be a winner in every of our endeavors in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why we thank you for our dad in the Lord that you have used to bless us. Continue to use him as your oracle. Continue to use him to build your work. And your kingdom. I continue to bless your church. 
will thank you for what you have done today. For in Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you blessed? Yes. If you are blessed, say amen. amen. I say if you are blessed, say amen. amen. And if you are blessed, say hallelujah. hallelujah. Offering time. Before that, we'll go to our... Before as we prepare for our offering, we we'll quickly run through our announcement. And... Officially, we welcome you today to this wonderful service. And I know that God has been with us and God has been blessing us. And we continue to bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a lot of package for us to carry home. God will give us the heavenly package and we will go home with his glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are welcome once again to this wonderful service. God bless you. Um, this is our um, weekly uh, activity. On Tuesday, 6 p.m., is a moment with us of Bible study with our pastor, Reverend John Akiemi, who starts, who will actually start 6 30 p.m. Please join. And then you can meet us at our platform, Facebook, you can join. And um, also with Twitter, you can also join. And God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Why on Wednesday we tune to our weekly prayer service that starts 7 p.m. to 7.30. Please join. And also on Friday, 7 p.m. to 7.30 is still our prayer. We pray. It's better to pray than to be a prayer. God will never make us to be a prayer to our enemy in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why we pray, because our God answer prayer. Join us in prayer. God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Also be reminded that our monthly prayer vigil will come up. The next is August 25th. Time is 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Please be reminded, monthly night vigil. The, this, the one for this month we, we are living now was last week, was this Friday. But the next one is going to be August 25th. Make sure you join. 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. God will bless you as you join. Any other announcement will come from the Pastor Davis. Praise the Lord. Now, offering time. Okay. The choirs, can you give us a song while we pray for the offering? Shall we stand up, please? In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we lift up our offerings before you. We ask, O oh God, that you bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we give unto you as the honor of your word. Father, and also as you have commanded, we pray that you will bless it and it will be used to your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bless these ones that give unto you. And bless that as men that have the mind to give, but they have not now, that they also will be a blessing to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Father, we also pray for the titles in this house of God, as we're going to give simultaneously, that you bless the titles, that they will, oh God, be a blessing to you. That they will be blessed to their family. Amen. That they will be a blessing to their generation and to themselves. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they will lack nothing good. Amen. They will not lack good health. Amen. They will not lack success. Amen. They will not lack promotion. Amen. Because you are the God that promotes the people. You are the God that increases the people. We see the miracle you wrought even what the crippled. How much more the ones that are healthy. Father, you will rock miracles in the one that touched unto you. And the one that have the mind to touch, but they have not now, now. Bless them as well. That they will see miracles in their lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for miracles of healing. We pray for miracles of good health. We pray for miracles of wealth. We pray for miracles of wisdom. Miracles of invention, innovation. We ask miracles of the fruit of the womb, miracles of abundance, miracles of longevity, long life. 
Father, all these are many miracles we pray for your children today. Let it accompany this one. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Father, we thank you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. You are Lord at Wabi Love to be praised.